so I will be choosing probably Transit Gateway is, is the deployment that I have uh, in, my, in my lab. But well, there will be other, other services that AWS, for example, will provide, like Direct Connect, if you have on-prem and you need connectivity to your to your um, you know, cloud uh, clusters, and there will be other VPN services as well. Uh, I won't be touching uh, Azure, but if you want to test this yourself, I put um, a couple of links. Uh, one is a repo that uh, pretty much is the same, but uh, using route server, Azure route server, in order to connect the clusters. You can do it yourself later if you want. This is a blog post, again, my colleague Jonathan uh, Savo, which is a principal solution architect as well. He made both of them are great resources if you want to, to look at those uh, later. So I, I will just uh, go do a walkthrough. Uh, so uh, using the Transit Gateway is an example of how to use Calico in order to connect multiple clusters. In this, in this particular example, I use uh, EC2 instances using QBADM on top of them. The reason why is because Transit Gateway is a really tricky to connect uh, because they need very specific, uh, specific uh, things that you need to, to configure in order to make it that work. And one of them is that uh, the interface that you need to use to connect is a GRE, GRE interface, right? So for me, it was much easier to use a, a QBADM cluster where I can modify the EC2 instance. If you're using EKS, probably will make sense to do this connectivity using other methods like Lattice, or they have specific services, services that will allow you to do that as well. And you can use Calic on top of that to use the micro segmentation as well. In this case, I, I used uh, QBADM. So essentially what I am using is, uh, I'm using that GRE interface just to send the updates to, to the transit gateway. I have two VPCs. One VPC is using 172.16, uh, the other VPC is using 172.19. And basically, I want to keep the connectivity of the VPC in, in the VPC route table, right? So I am using the GRE interface just to tell uh, the transit gateway, these are the blocks of pods that we use in this cluster. But I do not want to use this interface for my connectivity. I still want to use the, the, the route table. And that's the reason, in order to make this work, there are several things that you need to do. Well, but one of the main things is, uh, let's say you have your route table. The route table will say, any traffic that goes to internet, go to the inter, uh, internet gateway, if, you're, if, if it is a public cluster, obviously. Uh, Everything that is local will remain local, obviously, and everything that is a RFC 1918 or private addressing, I will have three routes that will go through. Uh, anything else, go to the Transit Gateway. Transit Gateway will know how to get there, right? And the benefit of the, uh, doing this as well is that you, you keep the BGP uh, inf information as a minimum in the local cluster, because the local cluster only needs to know the other nodes that are part of that cluster, the BGP connectivity among them, Everything uh, naturally will go through the transit gateway, everything else, right? So it's, it's probably, the, I, I'm not saying this is the best design, but it's what I will consider is probably the easiest and best design in this particular situation. 